How does contracting muscle break down fat, decrease inflammation in the body, and improve insulin sensitivity? One answer, it releases a tiny protein called interleukin-6 or IL-6 into your bloodstream during exercise. IL-6 is a signaling molecule that can be produced by many cell types in the body. When it is released from muscle, it's called a myokine. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley. Today, I'd like to talk to you about IL-6 or interleukin-6, which is a signaling molecule with multiple personalities. When it's released from disease-fighting immune cells, such as macrophages, IL-6 can cause fever, fatigue, and inflammation, typical flu-like symptoms. However, when it's synthesized and released from contracting muscle cells, it can act in a completely opposite way as an anti-inflammatory myokine. So why is this important? IL-6 makes your body work better and more efficiently by sending signals to your fat cells, your liver, pancreas, and also to other muscle cells. When released from contracting muscle during exercise, IL-6 promotes burning of fat for energy and even changes where your body decides to store fat in the first place. IL-6 improves insulin sensitivity and lowers blood glucose levels. It also talks to other muscle cells promoting muscle hypertrophy or muscle growth. When your muscle cells contract during exercise, calcium floods the inside of the muscle cell, turning on the IL-6 production line. Specific genes are activated and the IL-6 protein is assembled and then released from the muscle cell into the blood. IL-6 is the very first myokine that's typically released into the bloodstream during exercise. The amount of IL-6 released increases with the duration of exercise and the amount of muscle mass that's involved in exercise. For example, blood concentration of interleukin-6 increases five-fold after running pretty hard for about 30 minutes, but increases 100-fold after running a marathon. Also, the more muscle mass involved with the exercise, the more IL-6 is released from muscle cells. The highest amount of IL-6 is actually released after running, which uses many large muscle groups. So what messages does IL-6 send from contracting muscle to other organs? First, it talks to fat tissue. It activates lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fat tissue. It promotes fatty acid oxidation, or this is also the burning of fat for energy, in other words. It, in addition, exercise also changes where your body stores fat. And this is really important. When you contract your skeletal muscle during exercise, IL-6 promotes breakdown of the unhealthy inflamed fat cells in the abdominal cavity and increases fat storage in the subcutaneous tissue where it is much less likely to become inflamed and cause problems. Remember that fat storage in your abdominal cavity increases risk of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. IL-6 talks to your liver and acts as an energy biosensor. It senses when glucose stores in the muscle are low during exercise. At this point, it tells the liver to start breaking down glycogen into glucose so that it can be used as by the muscle for fuel. IL-6 also prevents or helps prevent type 2 diabetes by lowering your blood sugar 
and improving your body's sensitivity to insulin. It does this by increasing the amount of glucose taken up by the muscle cells. IL-6 also tells alpha cells in the pancreas and L cells in the small intestine to make more glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1. This is an incretin protein which promotes insulin production in response to food intake. GLP-1 also decreases appetite and slows the rate at which food moves through the stomach. IL-6 decreases chronic inflammation in the body by promoting an increase in anti-inflammatory cytokines such as IL-1 RA and IL-10. It also decreases inflammation by lowering the amount of fat that is deposited in your abdominal cavity, your visceral fat, and in organs such as the pancreas and the liver and even on the heart. When released by contracting muscle cells, IL-6 also promotes myogenesis or the building of new muscle cells. In this way, it helps promote or helps improve your body composition by increasing the amount of lean muscle mass that you have. Interleukin-6 is just one of many myokines released by contracting muscle cells during exercise. Other myokines include brain-derived neurotrophic growth factor, or BDNF, irisin, and interleukin-15, among others. The bottom line, when you exercise, hundreds of tiny proteins called myokines are released from your contracting muscle cells. They travel through the bloodstream to communicate with other organs in your body, such as fat tissue, your liver, and the pancreas. These myokines make your body work better and more efficiently. Thank you for listening. I hope that this was helpful for you.